Crowley, Louisiana. Well, you don't really want to be traveling out on the roads at this point. Slow down, Larry. Lawrence and Sherry Hill try desperately to drive out of town before a violent Category 3 hurricane makes landfall. But they hit the road too late. And now the Hills find themselves taking the brunt of the storm's power. When the weather's bad like this, it's not a good idea to be on the highway. We probably should have stayed home. Driving in treacherous conditions, the Hills decide to pull over at the next exit and wait out the tempest. But their plan suddenly hits a snag when they get stuck behind an 18-wheeled wind catcher. If it's dangerous for the Hills to be on the highway, it's downright suicidal for the trucker. That was my driver. Call that number and say, you better get this guy off the road. I used to drive semis, so I knew how it was going to act. I knew he was in trouble. I just told my wife to, to put the camera on the truck. Lawrence wants to alert the long hauler, but there's no way to signal him without risking their own lives. Their only hope is to take the next off-ramp and inform authorities. Unfortunately, they'll never get the chance. There you go. Suddenly, a Herculean gust of wind blasts the semi, slamming it on its side. When I saw that truck tip over, the first thing I thought was, oh, oh my god. It was just like it was happening in slow motion. The hurricane's fury sends the downed big rig scraping against the pavement. The Hills fear they've just witnessed this trucker's last run. My wife started crying. I was afraid for the man inside. Still over the guy's still in the truck. Rescue crews arrive minutes later. Sherry continues filming as they approach the crumpled cab. Incredibly, the man emerges from the wreck unharmed. It was a miracle. He was uninjured. Hopefully, everyone who dared drive through the hurricane learned a powerful lesson. Mess with Mother Nature, and you might get grounded.